Hi everybody. Today I'm making uh, a Q&A uh, with the A45 AMG. So it will be in two parts. Uh, the first part being today about uh, the driving, the engine, the sound, everything about the driving. And the second part will be about the quality, the interior, and uh, everything with relation with the sound system, the seats, uh, everything. So today I'm answering your questions. So first, uh, can I show the engine? Yes. Uh, actually, this is gonna be tricky because AMG decided. Well, you have to go here. AMG decided not to put the bonnet on hydraulics, so you have to open it and you have to hold it or put the little yellow thing. So I will hold it. Um, the engine is a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbo chart. So here you see the, the big turbo, which is very hot. Here is the engine with the fake, uh, fake carbon cover. And it has been made like every Mercedes engine by, by only one man. And this guy in our Mercedes is Jérôme Wachholz. So thank you Jérôme. So that's it for the engine, I think. Next question. Let me go back inside. Up. Alors. Uh, who made the engine I just show you? How to drive a car with a turbo? Uh, I don't know exactly how can I answer how to drive a car with a turbo, but the difference with a naturally aspirated engine is that uh, the air coming out of the exhaust is forced to go back inside the engine with the turbo, which makes more power, but since it comes from the exhaust, you have to accelerate first to have more gas going to the engine, so the turbo kicks in around 3000-4000 RPM. Before that, the car has a bit a lack of torque, but when the turbo comes in, you just feel the boost uh, pushing into your seat. It's uh, it's very different, but it's fantastic. I really like that. Is it a real AMG? Yes. It's not just a sporty A-Class like um, the S3 for uh, Audi or uh, BMW. Um, 135i uh, M. Um, this one really is uh, tuned by AMG to make a lot of power. It's a real sport car. I hope he's not gonna front end my car or I will kill him. Um, this car is uh, is really AMG in every detail except for the interior uh, somewhere but I'll show that in another video. Uh, the sound is AMG, the, the engine is AMG, of course it's made by one man and the performance is AMG, not 260 in 4.6 seconds uh, 250 km an hour limited of course uh, you get to 250 with no problem, trust me uh, what about the fuel consumption? Oh, let me look uh, I have to start the car yeah, I have to service the car. So, let me go through the menus. No, that's for <laughs> a lap time. Uh, yeah, autonomy. So since I left, uh, I made uh, 20 liters per uh, 100 kilometers, which is very bad. 14.2, uh, well, uh, when I drive it, it's pretty bad because I drive it in manual, in sport mode because I want to hear the noise, I want to have the control on the flappy paddles which you can see here, up and down they're really nice because it's not um, plastic like in the Audi S5 they're really in a, in metal, it's very nice uh, yeah, the fuel consumption is, uh, is big when you push the car but uh, that's normal uh, but when you put it in eco mode and uh, drive it really calmly, automatic uh, or on the motorway 
it's very low actually it goes uh, down to six or seven uh, seven liters per uh, hundred kilometers which is very good for a 360 horsepower car uh, it has half the cylinders of the RS5 so it has half the fuel consumption when you drove it sporty the the RS5 could make 40 liters per 100 kilometers an hour so the fuel consumption they announce in the press uh, in the press files are always fake um, but it's okay you can do a lot of uh, kilometers with the car it's it's good it's good um, yeah so since it's a real AMG the car uh, well, it was AMG's first uh, hatchback. They only did uh, big V8 cars before the SLS, the 663, SL65, um, huge cars. I love them. But this was their first small car. And they didn't go lightly. They put the most powerful four-cylinder in the world under the bonnet. That's all. First car, most powerful four-cylinder in the world. It makes 180 horsepower per liter, and that's the second best uh, ratio in the world of uh, production cars. The first one being the McLaren P1. It makes 30 more than a Bugatti Veyron Super Sports, which is quite a, a big car. Next, what's the transmission? Well. Uh, the transmission is a 7-speed double-clutch uh, gearbox. Uh, the shifts, when the gear shifts, are very fast, but when you press the pedal uh, driving sporty, it's also fast on upshifts. It makes an every, every time a very loud bang, but on downshifts, sometimes it's uh, very slow, and uh, that's quite disappointing because it should be in sport mode, uh, a sporty car, an AMG and somehow the gearbox sometimes isn't but the gear lever is absolutely i think magnificent they took it from the sls and put it directly in the a-class so if you want to put neutral you press the brake this is neutral if i put one time back we're in drive so we go forward go back to neutral and parking just press and you can lift off the brake and the car won't move it's beautiful so really and with the AMG logo um, do you have to drive fast to enjoy the sound not in this one trust me because well here it's sport mode just hear the, the sound You don't need it. Uh, when you go full throttle and very fast, it's extremely loud because this car has the performance exhaust from AMG. It's the optional sport exhaust. But even when you drive it uh, slowly, it makes a really nice exhaust note. I really love that. And people turn their head because it's quite loud, uh, but they're looking for something else. They're not looking at the A-Class because it's quite discreet. Is it too loud? Uh, nothing is too loud. Well, I'm not wishing for a decayed uh, A-Class because this one is already pretty loud. And if you want to be discreet, you can. You put it in comfort, drive it automatic, but as soon as you push the throttle, it will make noise. Uh, did you use it on the track? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, I haven't planned uh, using it on the track yet. Uh, but that would be a very good car on the track because I think it's uh, it's small, it's uh, quite powerful, uh, it will be very fun, but I'm not sure I will. Did you drag race the car? Oh yes! And since this car is uh, quite light, it's 1.6 1, 1 tons, and it has four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, 360 horsepower, it goes off the line like a rocket. Uh, you have seen it in a previous video I posted on my channel. I did a drag race with the Nissan GTR, and uh, from stop with no launch control, I had like 50 to 100 meters. I was ahead. Then 
the GTR uh, flew past, but uh, it's a really fast car. Uh, I drag raced ag in, uh, against the Corvette, I won against... Um, which car? Uh... Well, every rear-wheel rear drive car will lose. That's very simple. Well, maybe not a LaFerrari, but uh, I never had the opportunity. Uh, well, that's all for the question about uh, the driving, the fuel consumption, uh, the power. I hope you enjoyed this video. So the next one will be about the interior. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what did you think and if you have other questions I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.